Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the valves in your GY6 um, Chinese scooter. Um, I've already taken the seat and panel off here. Um, we're going to need to access that right there. Um, the, some of the tools you'll need will be an 8 millimeter socket for the valve cover. You'll need a 10 millimeter for the seat. Um, a 14 to turn over the flywheel. And you also need a feeler gauge. And it's also good to have some pliers so you can do two things at once. Um, and I'll explain that in a minute. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take off this vacuum hose here. Set it off to the side. This is where your 8mm is going to be used. There's four bolts holding this valve cover on. So this is what you'll be looking at now. One will be the exhaust, and one will be the air intake. So what we'll have to do, take our On this flywheel here, this bolt inside here is a 14 millimeter. And we're going to look in this hole right here. So, what you have to do is you turn this over, the flywheel over clockwise until the T matches up right here. So we'll turn that over until we find our T. That's harder. All right, I've turned it over clockwise, and I found. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. T and an F right there. And you'll feel it. And the way you know it's on a compression stroke is you, there should be play in the rocker arms. I don't know if you can hear that. See how it's moving? So now you're good to check the valves. And the exhaust is 0 0.24. 0 0.024. Sorry. So this bolt on the outside here is I think a nine millimeter and of course I don't have that wrench. So I'm gonna use this adjustable wrench and then this is when the pliers are going to come into play. So since it is it's a little too loose, I'm going to have to loosen this bolt. Okay, so that's loosened. Now, so you'll have to tighten this inside there.
Okay, now that that's tightened, we're going to take that feeler gauge again. The point zero three, and see how it feels. It's still really loose. Or really loose. Okay, so now it's too tight. So I'm gonna have to loosen that just a little bit. Yeah, it would help if I had the right tools. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay, so it's a little more resistant. Probably go a little tighter. Just a little bit. Okay. We'll try that. Let's see what that feels like. Okay, so that's probably good. It's a little tighter than it should be. It's tough, but once you get it, you're there. So it should be pretty tight on this, not too much, perfect, you can hear that. So now I'll put the .02 in there, should be pretty loose, yep, I think we're good. So now I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down. Make sure it's still the same. Yep, I think we're good. Now they're both in spec. Uh, we can go ahead and put the valve cover back on. I'm going to clean it off first though. It's kind of dirty. Alright, valve cover is back on. Um, go put this vacuum hose back on. clamp on all right we're good to go we'll uh, test fire it see what it sounds like now I already adjusted the valves at a thousand miles but these are some cheap engines and anything can happen so I think the valves were out of spec again so let's fire it up and see if it's still ticking right, let's fire it up smoother A little bit of oil that leaked out when I had the valve cover on. 
seems to be running good. Another one right at 900. That's what the manual says. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, next video is probably going to be a ride video. Got another guy at work that wants to ride around, so that'll be coming up next. Um, eventually, probably in the next couple of videos, I'm going to change the gear oil because um, I don't think it's been done. And I'm going to change regular oil because uh, I think the first owner never change any of the fluids um, I changed the oil once but kinda wanna check it out and see see what I got um, yeah so this this scooter was basically strapped to the back of a motorhome and taken to campgrounds where people got a little boozed up and you know, we're hitting jumps and laying down, and so there's a lot of a lot of stuff. So like I had to screw in the uh, mirrors with that and that because they're destroyed. It had a windshield. A lot of the panel clips are broken. Um, no cover for the battery. Um, other than that, I got this for a steal and I've been riding it every day to work and every day that I can and gets like 75 miles per gallon and uh, it's pretty awesome. But uh, once again, thanks for watching. See ya.